to everybody. Uh, right now we are here at uh, Niagara Falls, as you can see, and there's water all around. We came here to visit uh, my sister-in-law. Uh, she lives here in Niagara, and uh, we are with our friends. So, in the early part of the bit of this presentation, you will uh, hear or you will see the view around Niagara Falls. It's uh, a two-hour drive from Toronto. So, welcome and good evening to everybody. Yeah. Okay, before, before we start our program, I would like to request uh, Mr. Wilma to give a word of uh, prayer. Yes, yes. May I see lang this Okay, let us pray. Oh, most gracious Heavenly Father and dear Son Jesus Christ, we are so grateful, Lord, to have you in this, uh, at this moment, oh Lord my God, and we give you all the glory, honor, and praises of you. And you created all these through the depths of your wisdom, Lord God. And thank you for this Sabbath day, O Lord God. And uh, as uh, uh, we are approaching for the end of this Sabbath, we are so thank we thank you, O Lord my God. And I just uh, want to pray that uh, you are uh, with us uh, uh, at this uh, program, O Lord, as the Queen of Noel will of uh, of her of this message, O Lord my God. And yeah, may you give him wisdom as he will deliver his message in this whole life. Amen. Amen. Thank you. When we arrived here uh, earlier today, I've decided to take a video, uh, a short video of the falls, so that at least uh, we'll be able to share with you uh, some, uh, so you'll have uh, some view of Niagara Falls. So as if you, uh, you've been here yourself. Let me just... Uh, what's this? Hello? No, we saying something. Daddy. Can you give me a favor? What do you It's not my turn. I think this one is not my turn. I will just, I will just maybe explain to you. Yeah, that's the view of the Niagara Falls. Uh, I was on top of a, on a deck of a restaurant, and I was taking this uh, video. So you can see, this is where the, um, this is the Canadian side, and the other side is the U.S. side. The Niagara Falls uh, is the boundary. That cross now, that's the bridge there. If once you cross the bridge, you'll be in the USA, and this part is uh, Canada. Here, I'm, I was at the deck of a restaurant here. And now we have another uh, video.
is a different scenery, I guess. See if I can have some more here. Maybe it's the first one, second one. Yes, continuation of it. So you can see a nice view of the falls there. From the top, I was able to uh, shoot it, shoot it uh, where the water was going down. And you can see there's a, there was a rainbow earlier. The, uh, the end of the rainbow was touching the bottom of the falls. See the other part of the rainbow was on the other side. That's the bridge that crosses uh, between US and Canada. I was the one, I just went down alone because we couldn't find a place to park. Parking lots were all full, so I told my wife to uh, drop me as I take a video of the place, and uh, I just told her to pick me up later on. So I was able to walk around and uh, I was able to take some uh, video tape, video recording of uh, the falls. That's Niagara no, there. This, this at the one. end is the fall. Okay, here. That's where the water start to flow downward. You got now? Oh, yes, this. This is Niagara Falls. Daddy, I'm going to go. Oh, there's some more. This is uh, when we were going down the Clifton Hills on the way to the falls. Oh, this is the one where we're, we're going down the road, the famous Clifton Hills Road at Niagara Falls. This leads toward the falls. So I hope you like this uh, short video of uh, uh, what we have taken, videotape of what we have taken 
uh, down here at Niagara Falls to give you an idea how beautiful this place is. This is Niagara Falls. Two hours drive from Toronto, Canada. And uh, 30 minutes to Buffalo, New York. And 10 hours drive to New York, New York City. From Niagara, only about six hours. Oh. To New York City. So I hope you you like what uh, we have shared to you today, what we have shared with you regarding uh, views from this beautiful Niagara Falls, uh, famous uh, tourist spot, famous all over the world. I believe this is one of the seven wonders of the world. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, watching our short video presentation. We'll see if we can find a place here to uh, something to, uh, to start our program well. To start our program today. <coughs> Let's uh, look for uh, Let me see. What a friend we have in Jesus. Mm -mm. Noel, Noel, huh? what a friend we have in Jesus. But it's not connected here, is it connected? Yes. Kakanta. Yeah, it's connected to me. Oh. Para ano, ang pagkos. Okay, this is the view okay, of Niagara. Niagara Falls. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ito ang mga kakanta. Ayan na, Amazing Grace. Thank you, God. 
The topic of our study this afternoon is about thyroid disease. Thyroid disease. So, let us study about thyroid. Okay? It says here that women are five to eight times more likely than men to have thyroid problems. More than 12% of the U.S. population will develop a thyroid condition in their lifetime. An estimated 20 million Americans have some sort of thyroid problems. One in eight women uh, will develop a thyroid disorder during their lifetime. And uh, most thyroid diseases are lifelong conditions and can be managed with medical attention. I don't know, do you know of anybody who has thyroid problem? I know of at least two. So, if you know someone, this information uh, might be of help to you. How to recognize a thyroid? How to recognize thyroid issues? Here. The thyroid is a butterfly-shaped gland located in the neck. It is known as the uh, monster gland of the metabolism. When it doesn't work, it can affect almost every aspect of your heart. And uh, it says here, uh, muscle and joint pain. These are some signs of having thyroid, developing thyroid disease. Uh, weakness in the arms and a tendency to develop corporal tunnel in the uh, arm, in the arm hand. I mean, Weight uh, and under and explained weight changes also is a sign and high cholesterol when it is not responsive to diet, exercise or uh, uh, cholesterol lowering medication. Neck discomfort, a feeling of discomfort in the neck. 
and it could also be taken from family history and it's also irregularity in uh, menstrual period and sometimes it also causes skin and hair changes. So those are some signs that I uh, will give you a hint as to if you are uh, developing thyroid problem. Now here are the, here is how it works here, sort of diagram. I put a, I put a lamus there from the hair uh, to your uh, pituitary gland it goes down to it goes down to your body here basically increased metabolism growth development so that's how the thyroid uh, is developed and uh, loss of uh, sometimes it, uh, some some of the some of the um, uh, symptoms also like loss of hair in the high eyebrows, puffy face, enlarged thyroid also, the neck uh, gets bigger or is enlarged, it's, it's low heartbeat and sometimes you also develop arthritis, cold intolerance, depression, dry skin, fatigue, uh, forgetfulness, hit the west, uh, hit the um, whisper, whisper heavy menstrual periods, infertility, and muscle aches. Sometimes you also gain weight, constipation, brittle nails, uh, hair loss, sweating, enlarged thyroid goiter, uh, rapid heartbeat, uh, weight loss, frequent bowel movement, uh, warm, Moisted, uh, moist hands, tremor of fingers. Those are some uh, some uh, of the symptoms. And here is uh, some more. And explain weight changes. And issues can be signs of both hypo hypo through. It's hard to read this. It's an anyway, cholesterol issues also and. Uh, Skin changes, muscle and joint uh, pain, uh, depression and anxiety. Those are some of the things that you will uh, notice in your body if you're developing thyroid. Here, here are the simpler ones that you can look for. Uh, symptoms, fatigue, cold intolerance, loss of high eyebrow or hair, sleep problems, muscle aches, infertility, Slow heartbeat, weight gain, constipation, headaches, depression, dizziness, brain fog, arthritis, brittle nails, and heavy menstrual uh, period. So here are quite a few, quite a few uh, symptoms of uh, having thyroid problem. Uh, Hypothyroidism. Uh, here, here are they. I just mentioned some of them to you. But here are some more here. Uh, sensitivity, dry skin, depression, mood, joint muscle pain, high cholesterol, hair loss, goiter enlarged, tremors, heart intolerance, heat intolerance, sleep disturbance, shortness of breath, diarrhea, irregular menstrual periods, muscle weakness, sweating, anxiety, nervousness depression and mood swing quite a few quite a few um, symptoms the thyroid glands in photography how are thyroid hormones produced it is produced these are the different uh, steps from the brain hypothalamus it goes to the perpetuary gland to the thyroid gland and uh, The thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped organ located in the base of your neck. Thyroid gland takes iodine and converts it into thyroxine and thyroidotronin. The thyroid hormones regulate vital body functions. 
uh, it, it regulates the function of the heart, the body temperature, muscle strength, body weight, menstrual cycles, nervous system, cholesterol levels, and breathing. Up to 60% of those with thyroid disease are unaware of their condition. We have to take care of, uh, we have to try to prevent thyroid problems because it controls quite a few of our, the mechanisms of our body. Now I mentioned to you already about the symptoms. So, but besides, if you are having thyroid problems, it could, it could also, you wouldn't like the way your neck would look because it will, uh, it will be inflamed, it will be enlarged. Here are some warning signs that you are having thyroid problems. You should watch out for these signs because uh, at least if you notice that you're having one uh, earlier, you might be able to stop it with the help of uh, uh, medicine or medical uh, uh, practitioners help. And so you have to look at these uh, warnings. Here are some symptoms. I've mentioned many of these already as causes, but the symptoms here. One symptom is weight loss, increased appetite, increased appetite, fast heart rate, anxiety, nervousness, irritability, shaking or trembling of the hands, sweating, uh, feeling warm often, greater sensitivity to heat, insomnia, frequent bowel movements in the area, uh, muscle weakness, thin skin and brittle hair, changes in the menstrual, pre, uh, menstrual cycle, usually shorter, lighter periods. So if you're having shorter and lighter menstrual period, it could be a sign that you're developing uh, thy thyroidism, thyroid problems. Weight gain and difficulty in losing weight. You're having difficulty in losing weight. Uh, constipation, fatigue, forgetfulness, depression, dry skin and hair loss, slow heartbeat, feeling cold often, greater sensitivity to colds, changes in the menstrual cycle, usually longer or heavier periods. So what for those uh, signs? So symptoms of uh, thyroid disease and treatments. Cold intolerance. Let's go to the uh, symptoms and to the treatments. Once you know the signs of, uh, here are some more signs here, of having thyroid anxiety. In, in, uh, in, uh, in irritability, I'm sorry. Depression, aches and pains, muscle weakness, hair loss, uh, unexplained weight loss or weight gain, carpal, uh, carpal tunnel or torsal tunnel syndrome. So you should be noticing this. So there's quite a few uh, symptoms that you will notice. That, you're that you can notice if you're developing thyroid problems. Now these are mostly repetition of what I've mentioned already. So how to recognize and how uh, to recognize thyroid issues? The prints are very small, so we'll try to read it if we can. The thyroid is a butterfly-shaped gland located in the neck. It is known as the master gland of the metabolism. When it doesn't work, it can affect almost every aspect of your health. It affects the hair, for example. Hair frequently becomes brittle. It becomes coarse, dry, uh, while breaking off and falling out easily. The skin can become coarse and thick, dry, and scaly. Bowel movement. It could become a severe or long-term constipation and diarrhea or irritable bowel, move, uh, bowel syndrome. Muscle and uh, joint pain also. Weakness in the arms and tendency to develop carpal tunnel in the arms hand, and hands. Cholesterol issues, high cholesterol, when it is not responsive to diet, exercise, or cholesterol lowering. 
and also heavier, more frequent and more painful periods. Depression and anxiety. We have also weight changes, unexplained weight changes. And issues can be signs of both hypothyroidism and hypothyroidism. Neck discomfort or enlargement. A feeling of swelling in the neck. Discomfort with certain neck or neckties. But it could also be traced from family history. If you have a family history of thyroid problem, you are at a higher risk of having thyroid problems yourself. Feeling exhausted when you wake up or being unable to function all day without a nap can be signs of thyroid problem. If you're always feeling sleepy, maybe after lunch, that you always feel that you have to have a nap, that could also be a sign. Here are some uh, recommended uh, remedies for thyroid problems. The thyroid gland carries an array of chemical and physical processes in the body. For example, it helps in proper and develop proper growth and development of the entire body. It regulates the calcium levels of the bones and also controls the assimilation rate of nutrients in the body. Thyroid problems refer to the condition when the glands stop functioning properly, generally characterized by in large neck, some common symptoms that indicate a problem with thyroid glands include stiffness in the back and joints, constipation, weight gain, and decreased rate of physical activities. Uh, you become sort of sluggish. Following are some of the natural remedies that can be very effective in controlling thyroid problems. Number one, grind some watercress leaves with water until it turns into fine paste. Apply it over the front part of your neck and, and the lid for an hour. Then wash it off with water. In, in addition to that, you can also drink watercress tea for faster relief. Mix two grams of watercress leaves in one cup of boiling water and leave it for 30 minutes. After that, you drink it. So, uh, I'm not really familiar with watercress, but if you, you have to find out what the watercress is and you can make a tea out of it and you have to drink it. Number two, lotus steam and water red. Prepare a herbal de uh, decoction by steeping water reed and lotus stem in boiling water. Filter the liquid and consume it. For optimum result, do it three to four times a day. It is one of the best natural ways to improve uh, thyroid functioning. Number three, ginger tea. Patients affected with improper thyroid functioning are often advised to avoid carbonated drinks so avoid carbonated drinks, which is also a general rule in uh, having a, in trying to have a healthy bodies. Um, tea and coffee and and uh, you have to avoid carbonated drinks. Avoid tea, avoid coffee, and replace all of these beverages with ginger tea. So you might have to uh, drink ginger tea more often than all these other beverages. You should drink a ginger tea at least three to four times daily to get rid of thyroid problems faster. Three to four times daily you have to drink ginger tea. You can prepare ginger tea by mixing a little amount of fresh ginger in normal tea. Number four, carrots, cucumber and sprouts. Consuming salads prepared by mixing slices of carrots, cucumber, and sprouts can also be very effective in treating thyroid malfunctioning. Use this remedy two times a day with your regular meal. If you are diagnosed with uh, goiter, that's the next swelling, this particular remedy is all that is, is all 
the more beneficial will all be beneficial to you. So you remember, if you're developing thyroid or if you are, uh, if the doctor advises you that you're developing thyroid uh, problem, you better start drinking these uh, carrots, cucumber, and sprouts. And you have to mix all these three, and uh, and you have to drink it regularly. It's very effective in treating thyroid malfunctioning. This remedy should be used at least two times a day and with your regular meals. And number five here, milk and coconut oil. Add two teaspoons of coconut oil in one cup of milk. Drinking this mixture can also be useful in the rectifying thyroid malfunctioning. So two teaspoons of uh, coconut oil and one cup of milk, you have to uh, drink that. It will be very helpful in rectifying uh, thyroid malfunctioning. And uh, here it is. And another uh, number six, juice-based fat. One of the best ways to treat thyroid problems is by cleansing the entire digestive tract system and removing harmful toxins from the body. So clean your entire digestive tract. Here. Uh, how do you do it? It says here. Uh, cleansing the entire digestive tract system and removing harmful toxins from, from the body. And the most effective way to do this is by keeping five days of fast, during which you should drink only fruit juice. Some good fruit choices for thyroid patients include pineapple, grapes, apples, cucumber, and carrots. Wow, this is quite hard to do also for some people. You have to, you, you have to fast for five days. Can you do that, Ray? Fast for five days? I was doing that before. Yeah? Yes. Every year. Every year you fast for five days? Yes. And, and you don't feel weak or anything? No, actually I feel rejuvenated after that because I feel like I cleanse my the system to your body. System, interior. But you cannot break, uh, you cannot, you cannot eat solid after you break the fasting. But you gotta start with the soft food first? Yeah. Start with the soft food, like congee, soup, and then after three days you can slowly start eating soft food again, like vegetables, like boiling squash, like that, potatoes. But it's good, they said, if we, if we can fast at least once a year, good for cleaning our eyes, cleaning the eyes, yes, it makes your eyes healthy, makes your eyes healthy, healthy. Wow. Well, I, you know, I mean, as we're growing old, we're developing eye problems, so maybe about doing that. <laughs> Fast for, but does it have to be five days? No, that's not necessarily five days. We age, we have a weaker system. Experts are saying if you can pass at least one day without eating, good for the eyes. It's good, it's good, yeah. Let's try that. In addition to the above natural remedies for thyroid problem, you must also bring some specific changes in your diet plan. To begin with, you must uh, add iodine, non-rich food like cranberries. Remember this, cranberries. Uh, organic. Uh, yogurt, navy beans, strawberries, potatoes, and crystal salt. Uh, what is opal? Opal, yes, yeast and uh, egg yolks also make a grand addition to your thyroid healthy diet. Avoid uh, an, an unpolished variety of rice, cakes, uh, pop candies, 